Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for March 18th, 2022. Thank you for joining me. My name is Suzanne Wagner. If we add all those numbers together, you get the number 18. And if you add the 1 and the 8 together, you get the number 9. The number 9 is about intuition, empathy, and mystical knowing. While it is not true that intuition requires a total state of calm, it does help to have one's own center so that those subtle messages can break through the conscious mind and the ego. But desperate situations can also break down the ego to the point that we are open to those messages that come from spirit that are attempting to save our lives or protect ourselves or others. It helps to have cultivated states of calm and center so that we can distinguish the difference between yelling at our, uh, the yelling of our ego mind and the whispers and impulses of our angels and guides. Within the calmness are the voices from beyond. We must learn to listen so that we can respond from a place that is aligned with a higher force, one that is compassionate and from the source. Listen not to the rhetoric of hate and fear. Be able to see those that make evil a career. Know that it is up to us to block and actively resist those that hold knives that they want to twist into the truths that are being laid out so bare. Some have to be blind to not see or to stare at the mayhem that the words of some create as monsters stand at the door of Hell's Gate. And my astrology for today. I have been noticing this intense full moon for days. Sometimes as it comes in, I'm more impacted. Other times as it wanes, I am more impacted. I am sure I'm not alone. It has woken me up at 11 p.m., 1 a.m., 3 a.m. with its intensity and powerful light. Waking up at such times seems ominous when we are supposed to be sleeping and at peace. But it is clear that this world is not at rest. In fact, there is a particular man's ego that needs satisfaction and thrives of, on the destruction of lives. While this full moon is in the sign of Virgo, I expect it will help to wake us up to many insights coming from the guides and angels. The world is at a critical point of change, and each choice we do from this point on will lead, lean us off that knife edge into more chaos or unify us towards stronger resistance to the dark forces that have been attempting to hijack freedom. Full moons show in the bright light and clarity what is out of balance. It shows the disorder and the sickness that is raging in our world. It can give us a chance to make a massive correction or fall. The sign of Virgo looks to the rules and laws that support strong cultures and civilizations. It wants to have the tools to bring health and wealth to a society. But when there are those that use power and ego to destroy and tear down what has been built, the emotional toll and suffering is enormous and intentionally demoralizing. We always have a choice in how we will move into a strained moment in time. It is best to keep aware of all things happening because routines are being disrupted and there is not a good chance that we can get out of this easily. The astrology has been building up to this point for years and most of the astrologers have been warning of this moment also for years. And now here we are. Chiron and Venus will sextile, bringing up more uncertainty and for some a stronger desire to suppress the truth. So far, we are doing a good job not suppressing the horror of what is happening in our neck of the woods. And even though that is causing so much emotional distress, it's essential to keep putting pressure on maniacs that want to destroy others. Human imperfections are laid out for all of us to see. We have to learn to value life over egos. Power and money must never again be able to harm innocence. Pluto in the sun sextile will give us a shot in the arm to those that need more energy to support their causes for freedom. We are moving towards dedicating our lives to a very new world, one that wants to improve life rather than destroy it. Thanks, everyone.